morning, YouTube. -y. Linda again. Now, my husband came home with these lovely Quincy. Sorry, you can't see. I'm making him. And so all I'm going to he's phone to say he's bringing some more home tonight. So all I'm going to do, if my bathroom scales will not tell me how many pounds I've got here before I decide what we're going to do with them, um, I'm going to weigh them. And then I'll put them into the silver bowl. Now can you see the scales? Yes, you can just about see the scales. I need to bring you back a bit. Right, so I've got a pound weight here and all I'm going to do is just see how many make a pound. So that's gone over because my my scales should sit in the middle. Um, a very old fashioned pair of scales, but to make it e even, you're meant to stop at the middle. And you put that one on, and it goes over. So we know three definitely make over a pound. So I'll put you back there and we'll just see how it goes. Yeah, that's two pounds. It's going to be more really by the time it's brought down. And yes, I will be doing like my pear and apple seeds I've done. I will be doing okay, three pound. I know they need cutting and cleaning, but that's just before you do them. So that's four. I can't believe the size of them, to be honest. Julie making all her wine and her beer at the moment um, from Julie's allotment. I'm thinking she might try and make some quince wine. Five. I've had a bit of paper here. So that's five. Two. Three. So that's six pounds we've got before I do anything else to it. So, I think I've only got two pounds worth of sugar. So if we go one, two, three, oh, nice small one, four. So that's one. Two. Three. So there's two in there at the moment. So if I just um Make two pounds worth of jelly for now, and we'll work out what we're going to do with the rest. Because I don't know whether to 
I haven't looked up online yet to see what else you can do with them. So I don't know if I can open freeze them, then put them into a bag. Um, or what? So if you've got any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Um, why don't you just put these, I'll uh, bring you back. Hey, well, just looked in my cupboard and to see if I've got enough sugar for starters. Um, and I've got two pounds worth of sugar. So, as you know, the skin is oh, very tough, actually. Didn't realise. Well, I've never um, tried peeling a quince before, but... It's one tree, I know it'll take several years um, because my um, apple tree outside and my pear tree um, you know, they won't even if I um, save the seeds it'd be nice if I can get them to germinate but we won't see any fruit of our labour for about three years, maybe next year, um, that one will um, a bit bruised inside. But I don't know if they've been laying on the ground, do they? So I must admit, I'm thinking if I'm going to put them through a jelly bag anyway. I might, apart from the, getting the seeds down to this one, I might just put them all into a pan, boil them down, which will soften them. Um, then it doesn't matter then, does it? Um, try not to disturb the bits that are going to have a pitching. So I might just boil them as they are to chop them once I've managed to get to the I can get to the because the peel will um oh lovely. See if I can get a couple of holes on the jump. That is a half one. They have a funny inside if you've never seen a quince before. So, I'll try and save some of these seeds and then put them in the fridge for a bit. Um, damp, do a little bag round and we'll see um, what, um, if I can get these to germinate. But yeah, because I want to save the seat. I must admit, my three dogs had um, one this morning. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think I might just um, put them all in a preserving pan, I think, and just cook them down like that. Because I'm going to sieve them so I can save the seeds before I do anything else, I think. So, yeah, I think I might do that. I'll bring you back. Well, I brought you back. Can't find my muslins or my proper um, strainer. I did have a red thing with some muslin and I can't find that. So I'm going to carefully, there's quite a lot of liquid already fallen 
and as you can see so you, I've got to leave that overnight so hopefully that should be all right there I don't think it will come over the top but I've left my two tea towels um, dripping and then the stuff inside will go on my compost because I won't be wasting anything um, I don't have pics or anything I could give it to um, so yes that is nice and if I'm very quiet and he doesn't move away and he's moved away I had a bird feeding from the window feeder just now so I'm just going to leave that there until it stops dripping um, first time I've made the jelly so I'm hoping to get a pressure canner soon too um, but there you go so bye for now uh, this will be part one of quince jelly